Well, thanks for joining us today, folks, on this little trek around town and as we go on an adventure and break down and take a look at the 511 Tactical LV-18 backpack. And I believe what you're gonna discover today is that this backpack is near perfection when it comes to an everyday carry gear item. This bag hits so many must-haves for me when I'm looking for a backpack to carry all my gear around town to the office for a day out with the family as a carry-on item when I'm traveling whatever it may be this hits so many points sure there are a few little idiosyncrasies that we'll hit and touch on today but this thing is near perfection and I'm looking forward to showing you why it fits so many needs and niches for me. <laughs> All right, folks, so let's go ahead and jump in and get a couple basic specs for you real fast on this item before we break it all down for you. The height is gonna be 19 and a half inches overall, width is 11 inches and depth is 5.5 inches. It's a 29 liter bag or 1,769 cubic inches and it weighs in at 2.8 pounds. This is part of their signature centerline design. I believe that's like the series is called the centerline series. Um, and this is made out of water resistant 840 denier nylon, so 840 denier nylon. And I really like that weight class. This seems to be holding up very well. It's tough and durable. It's a little bit lighter weight than 1,000 denier, 1,050, I think is what 511 usually uses. And it's a little tougher than your 500D. So it's, I think it's a good blend. YKK zippers throughout, uh, D-flex plastics, uh, really good webbing, great seaming and stitching. Everything is really well done on this layout that we're about to look at. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and hit price here with you now this pack is going to run you about 140 dollars uh that's very comparable to what else you're going to find on the market of similar leaderage design you know a tactical everyday carry backpack uh, that's really what you're going to be looking at very similar materials ykk stuff duraflex so it's very much in the ballpark of what's out there not only from 511 but from other companies as well now i did purchase this online over at the 511 store on their uh, online site they also have a local store that uh, is awesome i'll pop into often we now have links for you guys over to 511 so you guys can click the links below uh, check those affiliate links out check out what they got going on uh, they have three different colors right now they have this tar tarmac which is kind of like a green gray they have just black and then they have a midnight navy it's kind of like a navy color which is pretty cool that a lot of companies really aren't doing that quite yet um, so it's cool that they give you some low profile you know colorage uh, if that's a word as well. So we appreciate when you guys use those hyperlinks that we're going to offer to you. And uh, throughout this video as well, we are going to touch on the LV6, which is designed to go right here. And it's a separate uh, waist pack, shoulder strap, chest rig, fanny pack, sling bag, um, little uh, attachment that's 40 bucks. Um, and uh, we'll touch on that as well throughout this video and how it plays into this. And then we'll also be doing that separate review on that pack uh, the same week that this video goes live. And you can check out the LV10 uh, sling bag that I previously reviewed recently, which is a phenomenal sling bag. It's rare that I go out there and buy sling bags and I went out and spent you know, my money to go test it out because it's had such a unique and what I found very usable design. So with that, let's go ahead and jump to it, break this thing apart, see what it has to offer. All right, guys, so one of the really cool features right out of the gate is the CCW compartment. Now, a lot of these type of backpacks have CCW compartments, but what makes this one special is this one's loaded and ready to rock and roll for you. Now, we have a separate tab, again, on YKK zippers right here that runs uh, vertical up and down. So there it is, but it's a pass-through, so it's ambidextrous, which is awesome. So like that. But what we have inside here is not only some hook and loop, but already a full-on Velcro attachment here that you can put your holster in. And then on either side, three elastic bands that would easily be able to hold a double stack magazine. So you can carry a full-size firearm, even a you know, 1911, um, you know, a Glock uh, 17, something like that in this compartment. It will easily fit in there plus six uh, of the magazines for that firearm uh, and you're ready to rock and roll, which is really great that they have offered that and have that already in there. And there's still some hook and loop that you can kind of adjust some things, attach some other stuff if you need to, or just add other things if you're not carrying a firearm. It's just a little hidden compartment that you can uh, lash a lot of stuff in because of those elastic bands and that Velcro strap too, if you wish. So a big gotta have for me on my everyday carry backpacks are water bottle pouches on the exterior. It's what I look for and I gravitate to. 
bam. We're looking at ambidextrous water bottle pouches, so they'll be on either side. You got your compression strap that not only you can cinch down, kind of grip the the bottle a little bit, but it also can compress the backpack as well. Uh, and then you can easily fit, this is a 48 ounce Nalgene in this one, so your 32s are gonna go right about to here. And you can collapse with this little deflex button you can completely collapse the pocket if you're not gonna carry water in the bag or in that particular pocket, cinch down your strap a little bit and now it becomes a lot slimmer so you don't have this big pocket flopping around all the time. That's a big plus. Now my only critique downside to that is because it's all slick nylon, there's no elastic bands or anything like that. There's no rubberized grippiness inside the pocket. It's pretty easy when you throw your water bottle in there as you can see right there, to have this thing fall out. There's nothing that keeps it kind of snug in there unless you run like a carabiner, because this isn't a clip, it's a runner, uh, to get attached onto this and then attach onto your loop of your water bottle. So that's just something to note. It would be nice to have a little bit of rubberized, maybe grippiness in there or some sort of little elastic band as well, just to give it a little bit more of a snug fit on your water bottles. Not a deal killer by any means, but it is something that I noticed. So next up we have this admin pouch. Now it's a little bulgy. I have my full size medical kit in there. It's not naturally that way, but it can fit a lot. Just wanted to show you that. And this is what's really cool with the LV series. There's no 511 stamped anywhere. There are these little tiny 511 tags that you can actually stuff inside and completely make them go away. So there's no tags at all or you know implications on who makes the bag, which I think is a really cool little touch to give it that really low visibility. Uh, it doesn't scream tactical to me, particularly with some of the color combinations that they have. But we got those double YKK zippers right here. We throw that thing open. Now I have my medical pouch right there. But what's really cool is they've given us this huge um, wall of not only Velcro hook and loop, but then laser cut Molly as well. So you can uh, attach all kinds of stuff in here. And then on the back side of this flap, we have two stuff pockets, which would easily fit an AR mag or AK mag or lots of other different organizational pieces. You have a big Velcro tab on the very back there, hidden. Sometimes I forget I even put stuff in here. And it's designed as a little hidden stuff pocket, and it goes the full length of this entire compartment. So that's really nice as well, just for added hidden storage, things that you may wanna keep separated. Lots of organization in this pocket right here. So you're getting tool po stuff pockets, the hidden pocket, the molly wall with hook and loop. And then behind that, we have here our admin pouch, with, which has all of your little slits for all sorts of different pens and hand sanitizers and a keychain keeper right over here. Now, the only drawback to this admin pouch, and it's not a deal killer, it's just a little little nuisance is that this is really high on the wall on the molly wall and so i kind of have to like really fight with it to get into this stuff i would have preferred if they had maybe brought it down two stages so that it would have been a little more accessible to get this gear and particularly with this pocket all the way down here i don't know what i'm looking at and it's really hard for me to see just the way it's designed I just have to basically feel what's down in there. So it would have been nice just to have this molly wall brought down one or two stages. Then it would have been a little more uh, easily accessible to the admin pouch. But the admin pouch is really well organized and holds all your stuff right where it's supposed to be. Nothing, none of it ever falls out. Next up is our bigger compartment. Opens up about two thirds of the entire bag there. What we have on this side is our fleece lined sunglass or tech pocket. You can see that it's very large, very wide. I really like that. I love that 5.11 always does that. Some companies don't do it and I'm like, dumb. So it's awesome that 5.11 keeps doing that. And then it's just a big main dump pocket. You could easily get a laptop, computer, um, uh, you could get a tablet, you know, stuff like that in there. And then on the opposite side, we have a see-through mesh pocket with a zipper and then a solid, so you can't see what's inside pocket right below that on the other, they're just dump pockets, but you can get a lot of smaller gear items in those two compartments. Really well done, double weave, really tough, but also very comfortable grab handle with really good stitching and extra little attachments. You can throw carabiners, different things, whatever you would like. That grab handle is really nice and strong. Then finally, our main compartment, and this is a really cool feature. A lot of compartments like this, they are they open on the back side, and then you gotta move forward to get into your gear, so you're going at it like this. This is the opposite, it opens up, we got our rigid, polymer uh, inserted uh, uh, back. And then we got our compartment right here, very large for all your tablets. So easily fit a 15 inch uh, laptop, has one sleeve that's padded, a little bit off the ground, you know, so if you dropped it, you're not gonna uh, immediately crack the screen or something like that. And then enough for my, me to throw my entire rough enough 13 inch organizer with plenty, I mean, look at how much room to spare 
in there. So guys, I mean, this is a phenomenal, if you got a lot of tech, a lot of like books, magazines, tablets, computers that you need to carry, this is one of the better backpacks that I've seen there in the tactical world that offers the ability to really take care and carry larger tech items very easily and that compartment is so nice the way they designed it it's kind of reverse compared to other ones for you to access and get your hands on the gear inside now we move on to the shoulder straps all of that now what we have back here is nice breathable mesh that feels really good against your back gonna help you breathe a little bit better than just a slick either nylon or other you know harder um type of back so that's really good you got that really nice s kind of yoke system attaches straight up to the top not like the rush series which has more of an actual yoke no difference in the load bearing from what i can tell uh, but they've done that well you got your couple of attachment points here for you know different things like that uh, point of reference there is no setup for a water bladder so there's no hanger inside and there's no ports for a water bladder I think that's a misnomer. They could have easily made a little slit right here and made a little hook. Then you take this on as your carry-on for your business meetings, uh, and then you wanna hit a quick trail. I think the bag is absolutely laid out and could easily be a light day hiker, but the way it's set up, the only water hydration systems you're gonna have are with the bottles on either side. So it, uh, it's just something that I noticed. They definitely have set this up for more of an around town, everyday carry type of bag with technology than as like a crossover trekker. You could do some, but just know that it doesn't have any sort of setup for a bladder. You could kind of like jerry rig one in a pinch if you wanted to, but it's not really laid out for that. Uh, now they do have the removable sternum strap, which is also a must for me. This is the stages uh, because when I'm around town, I don't like a sternum strap. I don't clip it together and I don't like it bouncing around loose. So if it doesn't have a removable sternum strap, I'm not gonna be carrying an EDC. I'll carry it in the back country, hiking and camping, but for around town, I, it's just something I don't need, but it's nice to have it as a feature for if I do wanna carry this hiking in a pinch, or if I am gonna go, well, yeah, my car broke down and I gotta walk five miles home. Well, yeah, then I'm gonna bust this little guy out and carry it in my, one of the pockets of the bag, clip it on real quick, and then cinch it down and gives me a little bit better load bearing for a longer trek than the 200 yards from my car to my office. So it's really nice that they have that feature there. The ladder system works really well, fits right where I want it to be. Uh, you're also gonna get plenty of space uh, on the straps themselves. They have the quick release tabs, so you can snap this and dump the shoulder strap in a pinch if you had to um, for something like that. I'm a big guy at 6'2", about 215 pounds, and the shoulder straps and the sternum strap all work together really well, fit me well, uh, which is a good thing. Then they do have the little attachments right there for a belly strap. Does not come with a belly strap. It should. I think 5.11 needs to start offering belly straps with all the bags, the Rush series, this series, all of them. Uh, I have to now go try and find one or maybe contact 5.11, see what they got. You know, it becomes this really big weird, I, I don't like it. I like to have the ability to have an extra little stability point, particularly with their more tactical series that they offer. Uh, would just make a lot of sense. Most other companies do offer some sort of belly strap just to help give that stability if you're biking to work or you know, you gotta cinch it down, you gotta run somewhere, I mean, whatever. This doesn't offer that, you're gonna have to do that aftermarket. Something I gotta touch on and rag on a little bit. Now, the other aspect that I notice that I'm not as big a fan of is the shoulder strap backs. Now, these are just like the Rush series in that it's slick nylon, which is super tough and durable, which is really good. So, and if you're carrying it on your, sh on your shoulders like a backpack, no problem. But if you sling it over one shoulder, uh, it, it, and which is what I tend to do and what most people would tend to do if you're walking like 100 yards into the office, you're probably not gonna throw it over both shoulders and march into the office all the time, maybe sometimes. But if you're wearing a, uh, a raincoat, uh, a winter coat that has some slick nylon, the, this slick nylon with that slick nylon wants to just slide off your shoulder. So you're constantly kind of hiking it up or you just have to go dual shoulder all the time, which is what I tend to do. My preference that I found, and this is just a data point, this is a Vertex backpack, they've done the opposite. They've given us rigid back versus mesh back, and then they've given us mesh shoulder straps backing instead of the slick, tough nylon. I would prefer this way that the Vertex offers. It's not a deal killer on the 5.11, it's just a little thing that I've noticed that probably you'll notice is if you're carrying this bag, you're either gonna kind of have to tilt your shoulder and kind of march in the office that way, particularly if you have any sort of like winter jackets on. Um, and uh, most of the time you just wanna put both your arms through it and we'll use it like the normal backpack. So it's just a data point for future reference when you are looking at backpacks and you know, 
if 511's watching or something, that they can you know take that into reference that this would have been better to have mesh here, slick back here, than the opposite, just to help it grip better to the shoulders, particularly if you're just slinging it over a single shoulder. But the backpack carries the load really well. It's very tough, very durable, and the, the overall comfort of the yoke and the overall system work really well together. Now for the moment of truth. Now what's really cool is that it does have these straps that you could easily put a type of jacket rolled up either on the bottom or through the back here. These do disconnect completely. They are sewn on the very bottom over here, but you can unfeed them. You got a lot, you got a lot of space right there. So this is designed to either do what I just said, backpacks or whatever, or attach your LV6. So what this is designed to do is basically, and we will do that full video here in the same week, you have a full hook and loop panel. You will have to buy your own uh, firearm attachment or mags. Uh, on the back side here, or on the front side of it, you will have some organizational little pouches. You have a little key keeper. And then you have one other pocket in the front that's just a dump pocket. And then you have a mesh stuff pocket in the back. I believe this is a three liter bag. Anyway, um, and then like 50 different ways to attach this thing. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous. Oh, and you do have compression on the sides to really cinch it down tight. So it's basically designed to carry a firearm. I mean, that's really what it's designed to, or one or two small little items. Now, um, what this is, like the idea is you put this on the back just like that and now it's lashed onto the back of the bag. Now, what I thought originally, because there are back attachments, that you would slide those through, have full access to the zippers, and be able to access your firearm. So this would be kind of like a secondary way to carry a firearm. Have the shoulder strap or the sternum strap attachments inside the bag. You disconnect this thing real quick, throw it on your shoulder on the front, keep going with your backpack, or put it on your waist as a fanny pack. You got your firearm, you're ready to rock and roll. Not quite the idea isn't executed quite that way. You basically have to have these straps in front and running through the loops that they offer to keep it all nice and snug and in a low profile. If you just run it through on the backside, what I found was that, that this pack pouch right here just tends to flap. It's really loosey-goosey, doesn't give a good streamlined feel, and it constantly is kind of bouncing, particularly if you have weight like a firearm in there or something like that, a med kit, whatever. And it doesn't, it's not streamlined, it doesn't quite attach like it should unless you run the straps in front of all the compartments. Now I can't get to my firearm. Now I can't get to really anything inside a med kit, whatever it may be, without disconnecting and running them through and then taking the bag off and getting access to it. So it's about a minute or two job if you're gonna run it and attach it properly to take it on and off. So it's not um, a complete misnomer, but what I feel like is that the idea of this being an augment to the LV-18 isn't quite there for me. If you were thinking that this is just gonna be like the best add-on ever, unless you wanna constantly be taking on and off and fighting with the, the runners, it's not a very quick deployment of this pouch. Now in the separate video, we will be talking about this as a standalone firearm holder, and that I'm super pumped about because this does have a lot of capabilities on its own, but as it's attached to the LV, not quite, or LV-18, not quite what I was looking for, and I don't usually carry it there because it's so inaccessible the way that I found that I have to mount it. Well guys, there you have it. I hope this video has been entertaining, but also informative to help you decide whether or not the LV-18 is the right pack for you guys. I, It's near perfection. It is near perfection in what they produce just with some of the little nitpicks that, I, that I've seen with the design, but the, those are really small compared to the, the price, the layout, the materials, the everything you get with this bag is a total home run and one of my top, top everyday carry backpacks I could recommend to anybody. So if you've been thinking about the LV series, you've been looking at this bag, you're gonna get a lot of pack, you're gonna get a lot of usefulness and a lot of durability and performance out of a bag and you're not gonna have to break the bank compared to some other backpacks out there on the market uh, to get all that this pack has to offer. So thanks guys for checking the video out. Uh, check us out on Instagram, Facebook, all the social media, throwing up stuff there all the time. Uh, don't forget as well to subscribe if you're not a current subscriber, hit that subscription button, hit the video that's popping up now so you can see uh, past videos. And always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared, and we'll see you out there.